much, Shaber1000 here. Today I got something different. This is not what I was going to post. But this is what I had to show you. Uh, I was originally going to talk about some of the inconsistencies in his story. You know, well, if you guys don't know, I'm 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 a certified mechanic. I've been a mechanic all my life, so I, you know, whether whether this internal combustion engine is on a plane, in a car, on a boat, it doesn't matter, it's still an engine. But what I want to show you guys is if you look down here, second one down right there. Now, look at the time. It's supposed to be 16 minutes and 42 seconds, right? Now, this is from him. This is his, his channel, Trevor Jacob. All right. Now, let's click on this and see what happens, okay? First of all, it comes up as a 2 minute 12 second video. Now, as you can see up here, right hand corner up there, I do have my ad blocker on, and for some reason, it's still giving me we'll this ad. Doing the run up, and we'll be now, on our way soon. Now, if I click that to skip the ad, it starts into the video, but if you look at the time now, the, video's a, the video is only 12 minutes and 53 seconds long. We'll be doing the run up, and we'll be on our way soon. So that's how it love. starts. We'll see you in the air. Now, if you, if you look down here where it says show more, nothing and yesterday when you show more it just talked about the ridge wallet did did they drop his sponsorship and he cut that out so but he left the whole damn video up so it's still like there's there's some things i want to talk about like right here okay this is an auxiliary this is for an auxiliary tank on this wing okay uh it's not even hooked up it's not even hooked up there's a GoPro here, and it appears to me that it's turned on. Later on in the video, it's not. Now, what's this over here? Is this the, uh, because I believe, I believe this thing had, uh, was capable of, 12, of carrying 12 gallons of fuel. Um, but what, what I found was in the, uh, I'm not sure where it is now, under the fuel on this, that, that plane now it said the fuel was uh it had six gallons over this uh right wing which is on our left but it's considered the right wing and uh it was a, a six gallon auxiliary and it said that in the uh the manual for this plane that if when you got down to half a tank of fuel you would open that up and drain that into the fuel tank the fuel tank was supposed to be under here somewhere. But I'm looking over here on this wing, the left wing, which is on the right side of the screen here. Well, for me. There is a tube coming out of here. And there is a, it looks to be, well, I'll tell you what it is. I mean, this is copper line used for fuel lines. This is definitely a fuel line. And like I said, this... Uh, you know, this valve here, I'm not sure, but it looks like it's in the off position. Like I said, i got to do some more research on, on that. That'll be in an upcoming video. But if you look here, okay, like, you got your copper line going up. It seems to me like there will be a fuel tank here under over this wing, too. And it looks to me like there is a hollow tube coming out of this wing right here. Let's make this bigger, okay? Coming out of this wing right here. See that tube? right there and then we've got this uh, copper what I believe to be a fuel line coming up into rubber which that's you know kind of normal if you got flexing and stuff you want to have a rubber piece there for something to give so you, your line don't crack it looks to me like this right here this rubber line should be connected to that shouldn't it this should be connected right here see where my arrow is this part should be, see, you can see screw holes here, and there's a screw hole there. This should be mounted here. This is a fuel line. This should be connected here. It's unconnected. This is unconnected. I believe this to be a fuel tank up here. I believe this, this one here to be the auxiliary. I believe this to be a fuel tank, and it's not hooked up. So what's going on? I mean, did he purposely run this thing out of fuel, or what? But anyway, today, what um, 
what what I wanted to talk about was just that. What who who removed the opening? Because I'll show you something here. That on mine yesterday, if you saw my video yesterday, if not, go back and check it out. It's the video right before this one. Um, there'll be a card up here at the end somewhere here. Um, but this is what originally, how it originally started out, okay? Go happening. How's it going? My name's right Trevor here. Jacob. We are here at the end of the runway. Gonna go fly the 1940 Taylor Craft up to Mammoth and uh, do some paragliding, do some snowboarding. It's gonna be a super good time. I got my best friend, Johnny Strange's Ashes with me. We are going to go paraglide off of one of his favorite mountains up in the Sierra Nevadas and uh, spread some of those. So I'm super grateful he'll be joining us. Gotta give a shout out to the Ridge Wallet. There you go. Thank you to the Ridge and Wallet. This is all, all that is gone. Let's get out of there. All that is gone. Let's take this. And like I said, now it's now it's a 12 minute 53 second video. So he cut that whole that whole section out. Somebody did. We'll be doing the run-up, and we'll be on our way soon. So, much love. See, we'll that's see where it starts. That's where it starts now. Okay, so, I mean, right there's, you go to his channel, right? Like I said, you got to show more, and there's nothing. When it did have a spot, it did say, you know, talking about the Ridge Wallet down here. Okay, so let's go to his channel. All right, let's go under videos. There it is. Now it it has also changed to 12 minutes and 54 seconds, and again it just starts out just abruptly after his little ad, his little sponsorship thing, you know. And it just it's ridiculous. I mean, this guy is a piece of work. He left everything else in there. Like I said, there are so many consistencies here that is unreal about this this plane. You know, and I've got some information on this plane right here that I can talk about, which I was going to today, but I'm not going to now because I just want you guys to know that I just found that out. So anyway, guys, uh, what a piece of work. I mean, look at this idiot. Look at that. Okay, I don't want to stray too far off of this, but yes, yeah, someone did. I don't know if Ridge Wallet made him do it, if Ridge Wallet has the capability of doing it themselves. But as you can see right there, show more, show less, nothing. Comments have been turned off. Now, I read somewhere where uh, Ridge Wallet turned them off. I don't know if, if you can give them permission to do that. But anyway, they were on for... A little while and then they got shut off and now like right here show less see now let's hit show more there's no description whatsoever nothing when there was a, a ridge wallet thing here and a you know a link to it how you could get it and stuff like that so anyway guys I just want to show it to you things are just getting stranger and stranger I mean did he really him and his friend really charter a helicopter and go remove that plane I mean you know why did he hike to that plane did he forget to shut the mags off and and all that I mean what because that, that's one of the first things you do if you cannot restart your engine which is another topic but if you cannot restart your engine you know you're gonna shut your mags off because you don't want spark you're gonna shut your fuel off because you don't want fuel for if you crash land you know you, you don't want to fire so what was he doing at the plane you know I mean in my book once some cameras are mounted, you know, once these cameras are mounted on here, to me that's kind of like a black box. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you leave them there to be? No, he took them and edited, you know, to make this video. Um, this guy's a real piece of work, man. I'm telling you, piece of crap. And this is this is all my opinion. Okay, so I don't hear. Well, you have no proof to back it up. Well. First of all, everything I'm saying, I do have proof to back up. And second of all, it's my opinion that he's a piece of crap. I'm allowing my opinion. There's nothing he can say, a damn thing he can say or do about it. And if he was right here, I'd tell it to his face. So anyway. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more of this because, trust me, I'm going to hit some more topics on this thing. Uh, anyway, guys, again, 
Shea Bear the Myth, the Man of Legend, I'm gone for now. Uh, bye bye, guys, and take care. Have a great week. Be safe.